Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Late Late Show. I am your host, TV's Jeff Driver, and welcome back to day four. Is it now on, or is it day three? Day three on the President's Week, and we will be discussing um, the third candidate that we have um, planned for you all today, and. We are also joined by another one of our special guests. Everybody, please give a warm welcome to the notorious Jay Vallon. Jay Vallon, everybody. Wow, Jeff, how are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Thank you, Jay. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. Can't wait uh, for this. That is awesome. Um, so, I don't know actually if I have a activity planned out. Do you have anything you want to do as a little warm up to get us started into the show? No. Okay, he is. He is um a little thing I just thought of. So once again, I will read out to you the name of. A candidate, and I want you to um yell out a fruit and tell me why. Excuse me, Jeff, but can you explain this to me again? Okay, so um, what are those big black fruits called? I don't think there is any big black, unless you're talking about. No, um, squash? Uh, not squash, almost like squash, can't remember. Anyway, um, don't know where I was going with that. So, what's gonna happen, for example, if I say... Actually, no, I have an idea. Okay, here's what we're going to do for today's episode. I'm going to yell out a name of a candidate, and you're going to yell out a weakness of theirs. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, um, first up, Colt Luca. Lack of business sense. And why do you say that? Because he loses a lot of money every time he does business. Um, actually, let's talk about him quickly. Actually, you know what? Let's jump to that next time because he is today's topic of, um... Oh, he is. Yeah, he's today's topic of the show. So we'll we'll jump right back to that. So keep in mind um, why you just said that. Reese Hinton. Re... Idiot. An idiot? No, why do you... Why do you say that? Because he's an idiot. Okay, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. Tyler Proshek. Cynical. And cynical, why is that? Because he thinks everyone and their mother is corrupt. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Kind of a harsh thing to say. Um, Sam McFarland. A weakness. Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's jump back Probably to him. The fact that he can't even accept himself. Oh, y you know what? That's I guess that's a weakness. Absolutely, and. Finally, Freedom McCarthy. His, um... Maniac nature. Maniac nature, okay. I, I think we all know where you were going with that. Um, Jay Vallon. Here's a toughie. What is one of your weaknesses? Um... I care too much for the average person. You care, and what? And why do you think that's a weakness? Um, could you elaborate that a bit more? Probably because I want everyone to be happy, so that might consume a lot of my time. Okay. Well. Uh. Uh oh. What's that sound? I don't. That. Know. Means who's at the door? Who's at the door? 
nobody actually. That was actually our horse was supposed to run in at that moment, but he didn't. What? <laughs> yeah, we've got a horse. We're going to introduce him this episode, but nothing happened. He was supposed to run in. Okay, let's get okay. Okay, um, how did you feel when that music just happened? Shocked. Shocked. That music just happened. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, did, so J. Valen, why, why do you think you care too much for the average person? Why is that a weakness of yours? Because I may not get enough time for myself. I'll spend more of my time helping the normal person than on helping myself. And what's a normal person to you? Anyone who's a citizen of Stickmon. You know what? I couldn't have said that any better myself. Absol- Give him a round of applause. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, okay, okay. Moving on. Um, so you completed that task. Good job. That was the, uh... That was the beginning segment. Let's talk about Colt Luca. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit next to you. Um, okay. Okay, let's talk about Colt Luca. So um do you remember what Um we're gonna go through everything actually. Do you remember the first few days um when we did this? Um two nights ago and last night you said he was a black crayon, and also... Oh no, he wasn't black, what was he, grey? I said he was... grey. He was gray, a grey crayon, gray. and he was... what kind of fruit was he? Oh wait, we didn't do that one. We never did the fruit. No, we didn't do the fruit. Um... Uh, chores. Yes, and you said he was, um... Toilets. Toilets, yeah. So, I actually want to go into that. Why is he toilets? Cleaning out because the toilet. everything he tries to do goes down the toilet. Oh yeah, okay, that's also something I wanted to tie into this as well. Um, let's go, why is he a grey crayon? Because he's so bloody boring. Okay. He has nothing exciting to say. Okay, well, um, let's jump to today's topic, which was... I forgot it. Oh yeah, his weakness being... Finances? What was it? Um, lack of business. Wait, did we so. do freedoms? Finance or um, weakness? Weakness? I don't know what I said. About this maniac nature, suicidal, oh, vicious, violent. I thought you would have said all that. Bankruptcy. And the fact that he's bankrupt by thirty grand. Okay, well, um, let's jump on to call. So, um. I actually know Colt Luca very well. He's a nice guy. He actually he came to my barbecue last week. Tell me a little bit about him. So you you say that he's bad with finances? Business, yes. Business. He Tell has us why. extremely low prices on his. Um actually right before you get buildings. into that, let's give him a little introduction. So Colt Luca is the owner of Sharp Industries and some of you may know him. Um, yeah, he's the owner of Sharp Industries, and it's a construction company where he actually does some buildings. He's a contractor who builds for extremely low prices. So, Valen, we're just going to let you take the spotlight from here. So anyway, yeah, he charges extremely low prices, but he often loses over $10,000 every time he builds something. Um, like, what do you mean by that? How do you know? Well, he charges people less than the blocks he, than the materials he uses. And that's not even counting labor costs. And that's actually very true. So, any of you out there who are looking for something built, you better go to Sharp Industries soon before they jack up their prices. Absolutely, yes. Um, he is the man to go to if you want a cheap building built. Okay, um, t so you you do, you've actually had some interaction with him a little bit, haven't you? I knew him roughly. He he and um, Cameron were doing this thing where they were trying to make Chinatown 
better, and I and the fact that I represent Cameron meant I have to dealing with Sharp. Sorry. Oh, uh, what part did you hear? Uh, you often did dealing with who? With Sharp, uh, because I was Cameron's. Oh, player. you mean Sharp Industries, but you were working with Colt. Luther. I mean, uh, Colt. Colt. Yeah. yeah. Um. Or a representative of Colt. Yes. Yes. So. Um, tell us a bit about him, some background on him. Well, I've never engaged in a personal conversation with him. Okay, what was his childhood like? No clue. I'm guessing boring. Okay, um, well, this is actually, I don't have much to say on him either. How do you think, do yeah, you think... He's just kind of there yet not there. And why do you say that? He doesn't make an image. Well, he doesn't make an image for himself. He's the quiet guy. You know. Well, like... Freedom McCarthy actually. We um did our segment on him yesterday, and he's actually the front runner. And I don't think a lot of people liked what you had to say about him. And I noticed that our studio audience, the actually a lot of them have left. Um. Paul Luca's not yeah. doing bad in the polls. He's actually up there, isn't he? What's he? No, he's he's right below freedom. So he's in second place then, right now, according to you two polls. Yeah, I guess. So he is. He's a fairly liked person. A lot of people like him. Um, actually, Nothing bad about him. Like he tries to be the good guy. He's just kind of not there. Like he's an incredibly boring person. I feel like after this, you are going to have a lot of apology letters to write up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, tell us a little bit about Colt Luca. Well, he, off he wants the best in the world, like Reese. In a way, they're hand in hand, except Sharp is the smarter of the two. Which, uh, um, I find it surprising that you just said that. Hold on to that, because, um, we, we're actually doing pretty good on time. No what to say about Colt. We're going to divide this segment, um, into two. We're going to talk about Reese as well. Reese Hinson, who is also, um, running. Do you know his ranking on the YouTube polls? Second last, right above Machina, right above Tyler. Okay, um, which is not good. Tell me though, um, let's talk about, um, let's talk about Reese Hinson. So tell me about him. What do you know about him? I've only met him once. He's a quiet guy, kind of more of a follower, not that intelligent. And why do you say not that intelligent? He speaks in a very slow manner. I think you'll you be... Notice, like, kind of thinks about the next word he's going to say. Well, I think that's good. Don't you think that a candidate who's going to represent the country should think before they speak? Because... He doesn't think before he speaks. He thinks about the next word to say, though. It's not like he thinks of what he's going to say. He think He talks like, I'm a great person to represent this country. Okay. Okay, calm, calm down. We do not accept booing in the audience. We do not accept that. Um, well, I think what the audience was just trying to say is that it really sounds like you're making fun of Reese. Well, I probably am, but that's because I don't think too highly of him. He's done nothing ever. Like, he's just... Like, um, Sharp owns a construction company. S me and Sam are both high-end lawyers. Freedom owns a ton of companies and massively in debt. Um... Tyler owns a construction company as well, but left um but Reese has nothing. Nothing to show for. 
and is nobody. He just decided to run. Okay, um... Okay, so... Um... Then you tell me this, because it seems to me that in your mind, Reese and Colt are both on the same level. So tell me, in a debate, or even in an election, who do you think has the upper hand? Does Colt have the upper hand over Reese, or does Reese have the upper hand over Colt, in your opinion? Colt has the upper hand, because he kind of represents everything Freedom wants, but more and smarter. Okay. The thing about Colt is that he can't make decisions that can benefit people due to the fact that he, his company can't even rack in money because he's the one in charge. How can he bring money to a country that is massively underfunded with high unemployment rates? Okay, I think that's fair, and I really wish we could get more into this because I do want to learn a bit more about Colt and Reese. However, we have run out of time, so um, we, we've got to end the segment. So how would you like to end the segment today? We've got awkward pause, guess what's in my mystery box, or would you like to pull a fruit out of my basket? <laughs> Why do you make this <laughs> sound so sexual? What do you mean I'm like not? Fuck, I'll choose the fruit basket. Oh, the audience likes that. <laughs> okay, okay, so we've got in my fruit basket. I thought I had watermelon, but I actually just have cheese pizza. Peaches? No, cheese pizza. In a fruit basket? Yeah, I thought I had everything. What kind of racket are you running? Well, the good kind, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the audience is really slow tonight. Okay, um... Did you want a bit of cheese pizza? No, not if it was where I think it's been. Um, Sam didn't have it, if that's what you're concerned about. It's... What? Uh, no. Okay. okay, okay, a lot of, a lot of Sam McFarlane jokes are happening tonight. Um, well, you know what, this is... This is for you. Take, oh. take the cheese pizza, and give Thanks. it, don't jump on my furniture, what is this, this is not a gymnasium, um, give that to a homeless person on the street. Okay, I will do that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached that time of the day, thanks for watching the show, my name is Jeff Driver, you already knew that, and that's it for the Late Late Show, tune in tomorrow night for some more exclusive content. Drive safely, everybody. Goodbye.